them is dead. I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you over the phone. But how? He came to only once. And then, in so much pain, he didn't even recognize us. Then he was gone. Jessica's there with him now. I couldn't bear to leave him alone. I'm so sorry. I'll be all right, really. It's Selena I'm worried about. Apparently, the shock was too great for her. She completely fell apart. She kept saying Adam wasn't really dead, carrying on till finally they had to sedate her. Of course, we, we brought her back here to the house. But Sergeant Jones has called and asked me to come back to the clinic. Some kind of paperwork. But with the maid gone and Selena in the condition she's in, I hate to impose, but might you be able to stay until we get back? I it shouldn't be long. Of course. You stay as long as you like. I will be here. I will always be here. Thank you. Perhaps you could start a fire in the hearth. The house seems so chilly. Come along, Mother. Adam? Adam? Selina, are you all right? Of course. But Adam is coming, and I must be here when he arrives. Perhaps you'd better go back upstairs and lie down for a while. I must be here to let him in. He's not coming back. I'm sorry, Selina. Adam is dead. No. The grave cannot have him. He's mine. He'll always be mine. You do not know what you are saying. Here, please, let me help you back upstairs. Adam?
this is? What's going on? I'm sorry, Mr. Dussant, but I'm afraid you're under arrest for the murder of Harry Waverley and for the attempted murder of his nephew, Adam. Attempted murder? I don't understand. I was told that Adam was dead. You don't really believe in zombies, do you, Jean-Pierre? <laughs> 